Hey guys, Brandon here. Are you ready for a Rockland, California Homes for Sale market update through September 2022? Let's get started. As of right now in Rockland, there are 139 homes for sale. Now, let's backtrack. A year ago at this time, there was only 73 homes for sale. So we have double the inventory that we did this time last year. Interest rates are almost double of what they were this time last year. So let's look at the rest of the stats and see what's going on. As of right now, we have 50 homes that are pending in Rockland, California, meaning someone's agreed to buy them. This time last year, we had 93. So the number is almost half as much. As far as sold homes, we are at 45 homes for sale in the past month. A year ago, we had 92 homes sold. So how do these numbers equate? You look a year ago, but you look at last month, uh, we're right around similar numbers, maybe just a little bit less than last month. So we have to continue to see what the interest rates are doing and what the market continues to do uh, to know how to move forward. Price per square foot in Rockland, California is $336 per square foot. The highest price per square foot we've had this year was $353 per square foot, and that was actually in May. Same thing in Roseville. Um, it was the highest recorded. Now, a year ago, price per square foot was $310 per square foot. So as you can see, we're right there in the middle in that wheelhouse. We're kind of fluctuating in and out of the 330s. All right, let's look at the average sold price versus the original list price. What does that mean? Well, if a house sells, let's say for 600,000 and it was listed at 600,000, that's 100%. We're seeing houses sell for 95% of their original list price. So it's gone down. It's gone down the past three months from 99 to 96 to 95. Let's continue to watch that trend. As the interest rates rise, I'm thinking we may see a little bit, that number go down just a little bit as we look on average days on market. So how long does it take from a house to go to active to pending? We're at 36 days for the month. We are actually up seven days. So seven more days to get in a contract from last month. Kind of a normal thing to see this fluctuation uh, in, at this time of the season as holidays are approaching. Uh, we have less of a buyer pool because of that, but then we have less of a buyer pool because of the raising interest rates uh, upwards of 7%. So as far as the average sold price, uh, what houses are selling for on average. Through September, we're at 735,000. One year ago, we were at 714,000. Uh, one month ago, we were at 781,000. So as, as you can see, because there's so many houses in Rockland of different sizes, uh, in different price ranges, you're gonna see that number fluctuate. That's not something we look at as closely. We have reached 3.1 months of inventory. Over that three month inventory mark, that is quite high. Uh, we haven't seen that in several years. So we don't know exactly what's gonna happen with that. And it all really depends on how sellers are willing to negotiate to sell their house. As interest rate rise, buyers are not gonna be able to qualify for as much money. If buyers get into contract and can't qualify for the home anymore because of the top of their price range, houses are going back on the market. So we're seeing that happen a lot and over 50% of the houses in our greater Sacramento region have seen price reductions. So that uh, is contributing to this uh, higher uh, months of inventory that we're seeing. So we have to continue to watch, which this is normally time that the months of inventory goes up uh, during the holiday season. Overall guys, I just have a little advice here. Here's kind of a hot take for buyers and a hot take for sellers. For sellers, just be willing to price the house maybe even a little bit less than the higher comparable. If you need to sell your house, be willing to do inspections before you sell your house. Be willing to negotiate with buyers. Uh, be willing to let go of the prices of maybe six months ago. And, and we need to be realistic on where the market at is right now. With the high interest rate, buyers are getting squeezed. And so sellers need to be willing to negotiate a little more than in the past. The goal is always to make the most amount of money possible. And I don't know enough about your situation or your house to know if you can do that in this current climate. Uh, feel free to reach out to me or send me a direct message. I'd be happy to, uh, to help you with that. But as far as buyers, uh, you have an opportunity here. There's, the buyer pool is dwindling. There's way less competition. You have special programs where you can get grants. You have special programs where you can buy down your interest rate. And uh, some sellers are willing to negotiate and contribute to that. So there are opportunities for buyers here right now. And there are opportunities for both sides, just like in any market. Keep in mind at the end of every recession, interest rates go down. And that is something we can look forward to in the coming months. 
My name is Brandon Leone, eXp Realty. Thank you so much for watching. If there's anything else you'd like to see next month, go ahead and comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.